Yep, you read that right. Vercel does databases now. The Vercel ecosystem is expanding by the day and now they are doing databases. There's three new features they have introduced yesterday in their Vercel ship. And let me tell you, Vercel is the apple of web development. They're crazy good, amazing user experience and awesome design and pretty expensive. Let's check out the first of three things they introduced yesterday. And that is a key value store you can use as a Redis-like database. In fact, they even cooperated with Upsash for this, so it is actually a Redis database. So check this out. We're in the Vercel dashboard. And as you can see right here, there's a new option called storage. Interesting. And I'm gonna get to these two later, but for now, the KV, the key value store, let's create one. Let's select the KV, click continue and accept and this is one of the most straightforward setup processes ever we can enter a database name a region i'm going to choose frank for germany and click create and okay name doesn't work because it's too short let's click create that's going to create the database for us within seconds and get us access to all the credentials we need to connect to it um, i prefer the env.local approach we can click um, show secret and that's all we need to connect to our database. It's honestly super simple. And we can copy these values, paste them into our .env.local right here, save this and then restart our development server and I'm going to do some performance testing together with you here live. Um, let me zoom in so you can see this easier. And that's the setup done. All we need to do now is install the adversel slash kv npm package. It's got like um, a couple of thousand installs since yesterday, which is pretty crazy. And that's all we need. Now, the way we set a value in our Redis database is by saying kv.set, you know, just like normal Redis, we could use all the normal Redis stuff we have. Let's use set, user one session, that's the key. This is the value. And then let's await the time it takes to set this value. And also it takes to get this value. Let's restart the development server and go to localhost 3000 and see what happens. It's gonna run this when I open up the main page of our application. And let's look into the console. And you can see it says 188.95 milliseconds. That's a cold start. That takes a bit, but I'm gonna keep refreshing the page here on my right hand side. And as you can see, it's shorter. It's like uh, 30 milliseconds, 40 milliseconds around there. So there was a massive cold start problem, but then when the serverless functions warmed up, it got faster. And then let's try just the reading because that is significantly faster. Let's try out just the time it takes for this function to read the value. I'm going to keep refreshing. And as you can see, it's um, 12, 14, 13 milliseconds. It's really fast. And you cannot tell me that this wasn't the easiest database setup you've ever seen. Second thing they introduced is Vercel Postgres. Yep, that's right. Vercel is doing Postgres now. And this database is meant to integrate super well with React server components. In fact, you can now even do post actions on something like a form and create stuff interactively in server components. You don't need to use client components anymore. What you could do is fetch data inside of a server component and then as a form action define something that should happen when a user presses a button for example without ever leaving your server component environment. Now the caveat being Vercel Postgres just like Vercel KV I believe is not available for enterprises. Most of us aren't, um, but it might be important because these two are in beta, which means they're totally usable for the hobby and the pro plan. If you don't exceed your limits, there are heavy limitations on how much you can use them until you have to pay, but they are currently at least unavailable for anyone that wants to use them for enterprise large scale purposes, even though Vercel does claim they scale infinitely and very well. You can import your database super easily and then write raw SQL queries inside of your components. That's pretty neat, but also kind of feels like a step back from something like Prisma, but you are able to use ORMs with Vercel Postgres. And the third thing they introduced is they took a massive jab at AWS by introducing their own unstructured data store, just like AWS S3. It's not available yet. You cannot currently use it. You have to sign up for a waitlist, but I bet it will be soon. That's why you can't even currently find the NPM package that they're using on their website on NPM. Because this service is currently locked behind a waitlist, there's not too much information on it. But all I know is for all these three services they introduced, they are pretty 
expensive. Now it's not super straightforward to compare prices with other providers because sometimes they are based on how many requests you make whereas other times they're based on the amount of data you transfer. So it's not super straightforward to compare these but if you take a look at the Vercel pricing especially for the Vercel key value store KV and also for Vercel Postgres the big caveat is it seems at least to me pretty expensive and you might be better off with other solutions because after all while Vercel does provide you with an amazing user experience it is kind of just an abstraction of other services because they just cooperated with them. So it might be cheaper looking into other alternatives. But if you have the money and don't care about that and want infinite scaling, good performance and an amazing user experience, I don't see any problem with trying out these Vercel packages for yourself. You can do this just today if you're on the hobby plan. It takes like three minutes to get started with Vercel KV as I showed you. And I'm super excited as to what's gonna come like tomorrow or the day after that, what Vercel is gonna introduce in their ship. I'm gonna keep you updated and then I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one and bye bye.